Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. What you're seeing right now on the screen is the crazy update released from Pika AI and it's mind blowing. They use a method of imprinting 2D images on videos, which is quite cool. Basically what you do, you merge an image into your video. You can add a subject, an animal, a plant or an object, whatever you want and that is gonna be part of your video and it looks very realistic, the composition looks good, the lightning, the camera movement, it's pretty cool. So let's dive into it. Here we are on a Pika website. As you can see, it has a very good layout showing us different animation, different variations of the animations. On the bottom here, we're gonna go on Pika Audition. We're gonna click on it and then you can import video up to five seconds and images all control with this prompt. For this example, I got a stock footage of a sunset beach video. And on the right hand side, we have a girl holding a surfboard. And it's very important when you're choosing a, a image to uh, choose it full body, not close up, because otherwise the AI is not gonna recognize where the legs are and so on. So for that, I'm gonna just import it into Pika AI. I'm gonna import the video open, and then I'm gonna import the image as well. And for prompt, what I do usually, I go on ChatGPT and I'll tell ChatGPT to create me a prompt. And I'm gonna copy this prompt and I'm gonna paste it in Kika AI and I'm gonna click enter. And now it's gonna take a while based on how many people are using the app. And here we are, this is the result of what Kika AI has just generated. Very impressive in a first look. But if you take a closer look, you can see that some details of the image has been wiped out. You can see clearly in the waves that on the left hand side, we have more details on the waves. And whereas on the right hand side, it's more smooth. But in general, it looks very, very good. Here we have the second example. On the left hand side, we have a video in a desert. Camera is handheld. And on the right hand side, we have a lizard. Ideally, you should go aim for a white background always because this is going to help AI have a better result. This is the prompt that I used in ChatGPT to generate for the Pika animation. And here is the result. It's very impressive. The lightning is matching. The laser is touching very good on the ground as well. The composition is it's overall it's a very, very impressive work. For the third shot, I use a drone footage over a beach. And what I really want to do is to bring a jet flying over. This is the image that I used, downloaded from internet, and on the bottom is the chat GPT prompt, and the result is mind-blowing. As you can see, it matches the lightning where the sunlight is coming as well. The camera is matching and overall looks so good. It would take you forever to recreate the shot using traditional visual effects. The poor shot, what I really wanted to do is to bring a car driving on this road film from the back. And for that, I used this Ford Mustang and the camera is matching on the photo and as well in the video using this chat GPT prompt. As you can see, I think Pikaya does not really have an understanding of real life dimensions, making the car look huge on the whole road. For the fifth shot, I really wanted to push Pikaya to see its limits. And I brought this difficult shot that it has a reveal scene of an empty room with a shift in focus towards the end. This is a bit more difficult. Plus we have the lightning. I use this image of a tiger as well with the prompt on the bottom and the results are just mind blowing. The lightning, the composition, the tiger, the shift in focus matches. The only thing I think that's a bit unrealistic is the size of a tiger. As well, I try different prompts, a little bit more complicated to see if it makes any difference using different prompts. Um, as well, I've tried a small prompt and it seems like it doesn't make any difference between small or big prompts. For the last shot, I really wanted to challenge PKI to see what he can do. And I brought this shot of these men running on the beach. The camera is quite complex as it's handheld and it's wobbly all the time. 
First, I imported this image, but for some reason it says that it violates policies. So I had to change this image with a different one. And this is the result that I got. Impressive. It's not yet perfect. We can see on the legs that the guy's feet are sliding on the beach. As well, the dimension of the character is quite big compared with the original. But hey, this is a huge progress in visual effects industry. This is mind blowing. You can generate visual effects content so quick these days compared with the traditional way of doing it in Blender, Maya, Unreal Engine, compositing everything in Nuke. This is mind blowing. So go ahead, check it out. Pick AI. You have a couple of credits that you can play around. And I will see you in the next one.